Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been so, so long since I've uploaded anything. TikTok has been crazy, okay? That's what I've been focusing on. Anyway, we're gonna be back, hopefully, consistently. Um, we are back with a makeup collection organization video. So if you like these kind of videos, strap in, get comfortable, um, and enjoy. All right, so here are my two new makeup drawer units. I got them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. They seemed really to be really good quality. They look just like the Alex drawers from Ikea, just for a lot, a lot less. So, and as you can see on the top, I have some organizers that I'm gonna peel all the stickies off and start digging into the collection. Okay, that, that literally took forever. Here is my stack of stickers. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's go into the first drawer, which is just high-end foundations. I don't know if I hate this or if I want to do put an organizer in here or not. And these, this long one, will fit all the way across. So let's just, let's just see, let's just see. So let's see, I have two of these. One of them is the newer formulation. So let me take a look. Okay, this one is the newer one, I believe. Oh shoot, I don't know. Um, this is the newer one, so newer one. I will keep this one, get rid of this one. Oh, um, let's see. This, I will get rid of this one as well. This one's very old and I bought such a terrible shade. This is straight up orange on me. Okay, I don't know the shade, but this one's gone. Okay, I, I don't know if I like this, but we'll keep it like this for now. Um, and if I wanna use these for something else, then I will remove them. Okay, now we have my concealer drawer and some extras. You see this is my drugstore and this is my high-end concealers. So let's see if they can fit in this tub. Maybe we can get rid of some. We'll find out. I'm not good at letting go of things, so I don't, I don't. we'll see what I do here. Benefit can go. This NARS one is so old and that can go as well. All right, perfect. Okay, and then I wonder if we can put these back up way back here. Okay, and then we can put powders here perhaps. Once I find them. Okay, maybe powders can fit in this little organizer now. Okay, we're gonna put some of these big guys up here. I just realized that there was makeup on my desk, so let me go grab some of that. So I'm putting these two foundations in here. Okay, I apologize if the angle or lighting is bad. So this is my drugstore foundations and like my not liquid foundations. So like stick foundations and like the, what is this, cream foundations. Um, this one I'm probably just going to leave as it is right now. I think we'll have to come back for foundation drawers because I just don't know what to do with them right now. So we're gonna close this up for right now. Actually, I'm going to, I think I'm, I don't think I'm going to put organizers in here because I just don't think it really serves a purpose. I'd rather be able to rifle through this drawer, you know?
the primer drawer and the setting spray drawer definitely could use some organizers. So I'm going to start by taking the setting sprays out. And now let's start putting some primers in here. This one from Cover Effects, how, how are they doing? Does anybody know? This one is gross, so that can go. Okay, definitely not perfect, but it is just gonna have to do. And then I'll move these bigger ones around. All right, and then we have a little tiny space for some setting sprays. I just bought a new Milani spray today. Oh my God, she's a little too big. Okay, you're gonna have to lay sideways, man. Okay, still cluttered, but so much cuter. I love that. Okay, next we have cream blush. This one I am really excited to dig into. So let's see what I can do with this space. Okay, first we'll get these bigger ones out of the way. These are just like blush palettes that don't fit in my blush drawer right now. All right, so we're gonna first take this one and go through. Some things that I really don't like about some storage containers is that they're rounded. I wish it was like flush up against, you know? So all my Tower 28, all my cream blushes start going in here. Cute. Okay, now let's put the about face in there. Rose ink. Um, Milani and then Undone Beauty. Okay, no Undone Beauty in there. Put Morphe in there. Can this one fit? No. Okay. All right, one done. I hope the triangles will fit. They do not. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't like how it's like, oh, fuck. Oh my God. Okay, Undone Beauty going in here. Dennis and Myricks. The Revolution Balm Cosmetics. All right, I need to sit this down for a second. Okay, if this if this fits in the drawer like this, then I will be happy. Okay, these are the only two M Cosmetics blushes that I have left. Um, this is the old packaging, old formulation. I think I'm going to get rid of these, even though I absolutely adore Venetian Rose. I just, I don't use them, so I think they can go. And then we'll take this thingy out. I'm going to take these out for now as well. Okay. Oh, that will not close. Natasha Genona is way too big. So is the LAS. Oh, this just barely fits, but I think I'm going to make that work. Okay, first off, we're going to put this one back in. See how it, it's like barely, there's a little bit of a gap here. It's barely fitting. Oh, there we go. Oh, gorgeous. And then we can get this one in here as well. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And then we can put all of the tubey ones in here. Okay. Cute cream blush drawer. 
I like it. And I think, I think we'll just put Natasha Denona in the very back here. Awesome. All right, cream blush drawer done. Put some back that I have on my desk. Now we have our powder blush drawer. And I think I wanna put this large one in there because I don't like how, I don't think I like the containers that I have right now. So let's take them out. And we'll put these two in. Okay, and now we can start putting our blushes in. Okay, so we have, okay, so we're putting blushes back in now. Starting with Kaleidos, I have five of them. They sent me a PR package earlier this year on, oh my God, I screamed. So grateful, absolutely love Kaleidos. So I'm very happy to have these in my collection. Also, Odin's Eye sent me a PR package. Um, I think it was a couple months ago now. So grateful in this packaging. It's beautiful. Okay, so we're putting those there for now. I bought recently the new blushes from House Labs. Look at that color. Oh my gosh. This one is Watermelon Bliss. I think I want more of these. And this is Pomelo Peach. Love, 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 love those. Then, of course, we have all my Patrick Tall. Will they fit standing up? No, they're going to have to lean like that, which is fine. Then my M Cosmetic blushes. I love these. Pat McGrath blushes. I think she's coming up with bronzers, you guys, and I'm so excited. My Sigma blushes. I love those as well. Charlotte Tilbury. And squeeze her in right there. Okay, then we have my Dior blushes and my Gucci blush. Um, I guess we'll make a section over here for the little itty bitty packaging ones. Okay, my Buxom and my Essence blushes. I love these as well. Put that one there. Can I make Milani fit? I cannot. My Bare Minerals blushes. I like these a lot, actually. Okay, I'm going to move Dior to put these in here. Most excellent. Put my Tarte blush over here. And then we'll put NARS on the side here. Okay, then we still have so much more room. So that means we have more room to grow, which is always good. Put my Fenty ones back here. Kimchi. Okay, then we have all of these. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to hold everything up. Okay, and these are what we have left to put in this drawer. Actually, that's not true, but just hang on. Tasha Nona can go over there in the corner. Okay, and then remember those blush palettes? Well, here we go. Okay, maybe there's not that much room to grow, but I love that. She's cute. Okay, now we have the bronzer drawer. And again, I don't like the system that I have going on in here. So let's, yeah, let's take, take this out. Bronzer drawer is done. 
Okay, this drawer holds my cream bronzers, cream and liquid bronzers, and then my liquid cream highlighters. So this will pretty much stay the same, but I think I'm gonna put organizers. Yep, it should fit on this side. So let's move everything out really quick. Just a side note, guys, do not buy this. This is so bad. Okay, now everything can go right back in. Okay, and then this I will get rid of. Okay, and now we are on to the powder highlighter drawer. And once again, I really don't like this kind of system that they're in. So we're going to go into... We're gonna go into this one really quick. Um, this is liners, brows, and mascaras. So we'll take a couple other. And I'm wondering if some of my older storage containers are better suited for this drawer. Even though this is not that bad, but I don't know. I like to mess around. I like to see what I can do with it, you know? Hmm. Okay, we're actually gonna keep this drawer how it is. I think it's, I think it's better. I don't think messing with it will make it better. I actually kinda like how it is. Okay, obviously you can see this is holding a lot of eyeshadow stuff. So a lot of single eyeshadows, eye primers, things like that. I wonder if it'll look good in this. So let's take some things out now. Okay, I'm gonna start with my Mora little pots here. Then I also have that single shadow from them, okay. And then My auric thingies and my Revlon one and my ColourPop okay and then super shocks back here can even do three high. Getting crazy. Then I have all of my J Cat ones too that I can put back here. Okay, then I have some of my. What are these? Liquid eyeshadows? Then we have our eyeliner crayons and stuff. Kind of keep them over to the side. Because then I have my Danessa Myrick that can go up top. And then, and then we'll put the eye primers. Over there. Excellent. Okay, right, now we have my glitters. And if we have like the big ones, they can go on the side over there. Okay. Okay, that makes me much happier. Okay, now we're going on to lips. Okay, the space is getting a little crowded, but it's fine. I'm gonna put, should I do all the way across? Oh, 
Okay, let's see what that does for now. Okay, so, uh, hmm. Actually, <laughs> God, I'm so annoying. We can do a long one. Hmm. And then two small ones, maybe? Okay, yeah, because I think I have an idea what I want to do. I'm going to put some lip liners in here. I'm going to organize them to, like, my favorites from, like, my not favorites. I might have more not favorites, but... I wonder if I can just put them all in here. I mean, is it chaotic? You betcha. Okay, nope. We gotta. There's gotta be two. So now let's organize them. stand them up. They were standing before. Okay, and then I'm going to put some of like my lip oils all the way back here. Oh, that could still be okay. Not hating that. Boogers. Okay, yeah, we're going to do this instead. Okay, I'm going to put some of my more different colors all the way back there. Call it good right there. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I love watching lip uh, makeup collections, organizations. I absolutely love it. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe before you go. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on TikTok. Oh, ugh. Thanks for watching.